There is no reason to doubt the area numbers of this zone list, but what about zone volumes? To confirm, let's open the 3D window and navigate to see the entire model. By default, zones are turned off in 3D. Let's create a view where all building components appear as wireframe, while zones appear as solid elements. To create such a view, we'll use layers. Use the Control Command plus L shortcut to open the Layer Settings dialog. Now set all the visible layers to wireframe, except for the zone layer. To do that, select all layers by pressing the corresponding button, and click the third figure from the left for any of the layers. All layers will be set to wireframe, except for the very first ARCHICAD layer. Deselect all layers, and click on the figure again for the model unit zone. Click OK to close this dialog. The 3D view changes automatically, but without the zones for now. So, let's display the zones. Go to View, Elements in 3D View, Filter and Cut Elements in 3D, Check the Zone checkbox, and click OK. Zones will now appear with their default material, glass. Use the Orbit command to turn the gallery zone and the roof to a comfortable position for selection. Select the gallery zone, right-click, and apply the Connect, Trim Elements to Roof Shell Context Menu command. Pick the roof and then the zone side you want to keep. Hit Escape to deselect the zone. For now, the gallery zone is trimmed correctly, but we have some space in this exhibition area that has not been filled with the volume of the zone. To fix this, select the Exhibition Space Zone only, click on any of its upper nodes, activate the Stretch Height command in the Pet Palette, and click on any upper point of the gallery zone. Right-click and activate the Connect Solid Element Operations Context Menu command. In the Solid Element Operations palette, the selected zone has already been added as the target element. With the arrow tool active, select the gallery slab only. Don't forget to use the Tab key to pre-select the element. Push the Get Operator Elements button. Choose the Subtraction with Upward Extrusion operation. And click Execute. Close the Solid Element Operations palette. And trim the Exhibition Space Zone under the roof just as the Gallery Zone before. Finally, deselect the zone and change the layer and element visibility settings back to original. Uncheck the zone checkbox and filter elements in 3D. and set the layers back to Solid in the Layer Settings dialog. Now, click the Zone List tab and check the Zone Volume values. They will have already been updated, and the new numbers will have significant differences from the previous ones. Naturally, Zone Lists isn't the only way to use ARCHICAD interactive schedules. We'll see some other examples of how to use this powerful function a bit later.